Imagine a weed that can kill cattle, can harm human health, can also cover millions of hectares of property and devalue agriculture. Well, that weed is not an imaginary, it's real. It's Parthenium weed. My name is Paul Marinison, Central Coast Council's Biosecurity Officer for Weeds. We're here on the Central Coast, and so is Parthenium weed. Parthenium weed, it's a native of North America, came into Australia in about the mid 20th century in contaminated pasture seed coming in to Queensland. Since that time, it has covered over 16 million hectares of Queensland, and New South Wales has been stopping it coming in for since the 1970s. Little bits are found and they've eradicated, but for the first time ever, it's come to the central coast. Most of what you can see here, the lighter coloured little plants, are thousands upon thousands of Parthenium weed seedlings. It came in and contaminated organic chicken grain feed, and since the pressure was taken off when the people moved their chickens to a new hen house, this one became disused and Parthenium weed took over. So from little things, big things grow. Come in and have a look. Before handling anything to do with Parthenium weed, first we've got to put on some gloves. This thing can cause dermatitis very easily in people. The person that found this didn't know what it was, pulled out a lot of it, and now, coming on to four months on, they still have dermatitis from handling this plant. So always face safety first. Now, it starts out as little seedlings. All of these coming up here are Parthenium seedlings. Then it grows into a rosette. Here's one over here. Make sure you always get the roots out as well. And it gets a very characteristic leaf to it. So this time of year being winter, there is another plant called cape weed, which can bear a passing semblance to it. That gets almost a white underside to the leaves, whereas this is just a paler green. Also, cape weed has a usually wider, thicker leaf. Parthenium weed, this is it here. It uh, gets a very little tiny white flower that doesn't develop petals. A really good way that it's been described as being that it looks like a diamond ring with five clasps holding the diamond. So it doesn't get petals, but it does produce a lot of pollen and can cause respiratory problems in people. Handling the plant, as you can see, I'm wearing gloves because it can cause dermatitis as well and quite severely. In animals, it can cause loss of condition, it can result in death, but even if it doesn't result in death, it taints the milk, it can taint the meat, it also means, makes them lose condition. With pasture plants, it can actually stop plants around it growing properly, so therefore you lose condition and carrying capacity on your pasture. In cropping areas, it's usually expected that you'll have a 40% reduction in cropping yield. So not so much of a problem here on the central coast, but we also don't want it getting further afield. So when you're handling it, and we're going to be pulling it out later, we're going to need to be wearing masks as we're really pulling it out and doing disturbing it. We'll also be wearing suits so that we don't spread the seeds. The plants can get up to over a metre high. They're a very quick grower. These are still even germinating now in the depths of winter. So we're going to be going through this area and taking out the top couple of inches of soil, bagging it up, sealing those and it's going to be buried at a waste facility. It will not get recycled. We can't take that risk. For such a insignificant, nondescript looking little plant, it can certainly cause some health problems. That's why we're suited up looking like we're going into a biosecurity zone. We don't want to get exposed to it either. So we're about to go pull some out. So why don't you come along and have a look what we're going to do. Because we've got so little of this in this area and none in the rest of the council area, we're going to be bagging this, putting the bags in other bags, securing them, and then they're going to get buried out of Button Dairy Waste Management Facility. So, here we go. We 
we make sure that we get right down and we get the roots out and we bag it. Eventually we're going to be going through here and removing the top few inches of soil as well, just to make sure that all the seed is taken away. But then we're going to be managing the site and we're going to be watching this. Believe it or not, the seeds of this, if they're buried, can last 20 plus years. So we've got a bit of a job ahead of us. Yeah, that's a good one, Stuart. To make sure that we don't let it escape between here and going to the tip, we get the other bag, put it in here, bundle it in, then it goes into this bag. Okay, Stuart, will you please get me a zip tie? And this will go get buried at Buttonderry Waste Facility, where we will personally watch it get buried. So that's Parthenium weed. You've seen how it got here. You've seen how we control it. And by the way, yes, our suits have also been bagged up and are going to the tip. Our boots have been washed and we're moving off site. So remember, please keep an eye out for this weed. We've only got one small location out here. We don't want any more of it. If you have chickens, particularly, please keep an eye out for it and be weed smart. Thanks for that. See you later.